So here we have three more lovely little ideas for your lovely little doll tabs. Really easy to do, not too costly. So what do you do with all the scrappy little bits of scrap fabric that are left over? Well, here's what I do with them. I cut them into squares, use my all-purpose clear glue, fold them into halves, use a clothes peg to hold them down, fold them into quarters, use another clothes peg to hold them down, stack them all up. I use a clothes peg to hold them together. I will take them out. You've got a little bundle of clothing that you can you put on a chair and say it's a pile of freshly ironed laundry or put them in cupboards. It's just a good way of using up all the little scraps. Don't those bedspreads look pretty? And they're so easy to do as well. All you do, get yourself some six to nine holes per inch canvas. What you need then is some thread. I put these up very cheaply from a craft shop or you can use threads from your own stash and I just cross stitch them these are four by four little squares that I worked down these are a bit large they're five by five so I worked a very simple motif into it I've got myself a little plastic bag scissors needles and the threads I'm using Pack them all up, these all go together, and I take them with me when I'm waiting at the hospital, when I'm working, or just sitting down watching television, and in no time at all, I've got a whole load of bedspreads, customised to my decor, They look really good for not a lot of money. So, why not have a go for your doll's house? It's going to look gorgeous. Do you like ice cream? Because I love ice cream. If you're ever in Penzance in Cornwall, there's this gorgeous little shop along the front that does a whole beautiful range of real dairy clotted cream ice creams. You've got to try them because they're just so gorgeous, but I digress. I want to do some ice cream for my doll's house. Now, a few years ago, I made these little ice cream trays, but unfortunately, they're not the right size for the current stand that I want to put them on, so no great hardship, I'm going to have to make up some others. So I found these uh, little trays that we used to hold wax melts in, put some labels on, I had to buy the labels from the internet because I don't have a colour printer, and embellished them with little candy canes, Fimo canes, that I also bought from the internet. And now we've got the fun job of making some ice cream to go in them. I'm going to use this stuff, it's the super light fill once filler, you know it's the lighter stuff because it feels light. I've got a whole load of acrylic paints in ice cream colours. I've got some toothpicks or cocktail sticks to mix them with. And if you want chocolate chips, my dear, you can have chocolate chips. All they are is little bits of shavings for these very generic pastels. If you want little uh, inclusions or bits of them, use Fimo canes. Just chop them up and they will look absolutely gorgeous. So, oh, camcorders and crafting just don't mix. So what I've done is got my little splodge of my ready mix, super lightweight fill once filler. Put them in a little palette, plastic thing that I've got. I've put my paints in and I'm just gonna like mix them up by hand, add in more paint as I want to, or add in more filler as I need. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm making a wonderful, lovely mess. Lots of paint flying about. Happy days. Okay, so I digress. I've mixed up the colours. Some of them are not mixing up too well because I want it to look like they've got bits of meringue in them. I've got the fun job of scooping them up or trying to and getting them into the containers. So I'm not going to show them it because that's going to be absolute carnage. But bring it on. This is going to be fun, people. The question of just sort of picking them up on a cocktail stick and dolloping them in before it all falls everywhere and using the cocktail sticks to swirl them all around to get the kinds of peaks that you want and then using q-tips otherwise known as cotton buds just clean off around the side but so far so good so this is what they look like when they're finished we've got a raspberry ripple is that your favorite maybe a unicorn tutti frutti um, lemon meringue gorgeous blueberry we've got a fudge coffee mint chocolate chip my favorite uh, good old-fashioned vanilla you get these glasses off the internet very inexpensively i think they're about four pounds for a whole little bag of them and just using the multi-purpose super light fill once filler with a bit of acrylic paint to make it look like vanilla and little bits of white mixed in to make it look like cream i've also taken some polymer clay candy canes cut those up we've got little strawberries and I think they'll look really good on my ice cream stand. Three cheap and easy ideas for your doll's house. Why not give them a go tonight? And by the way, you ever eaten ice cream in bed? Always best in company. 
just saying, Minty out. <laughs> <laughs>